good morning. I just want to thank everybody for the support, for the well wishes, and thank you for your prayers. Thank you for joining us in the struggle at the toll gate, for sounding the alarm, and for alerting the public. I thank you for witnessing what happened at the toll gate. Most importantly, my brothers and sisters at the toll gate, I've never met a finer set of people in my life. I'm sorry I haven't said anything in a couple of days. Um, I didn't realize I'd sustained some injuries and I, I had to get treated for that. I especially want to thank a few people who at the risk of their own safety came out to get me as my, my own life was being threatened. My life was being threatened for, for, for speaking up and I, um, thank you, Obi. Thank you, Big N. Thank you, Jimmy. Thank you so much. Thank you to Heath, Breeze, uh, Richard. Thank you, Mr. P. Thank you all for getting me out safely. I don't want to talk too much. I just want to clear a few things that I've been seeing online. To our leaders, I urge you, please, do not minimize the suffering of families. Do not insult the grief. Do not insult the grief of Nigerians. Do not insult the intelligence of Nigerians. Do not insult the pain that families are facing. People, people were falling left and right. Yes, there were soldiers there. Another part that people are not really talking about, the police also came, the SARS people were talking about, they also came some maybe 40, 45 minutes after the soldiers left. We were tear gassed. Tear gas is, is like, it's like, it's like pepper, right? It's like, it's like cotonou pepper mixed with acid. It's like, We were running <laughs> this this our what they call it our coconut hair generation <laughs> we would run we would come back we would run and the only thing we fought with was our flags we would sit on the floor and raise our hands up waving our flags and singing the national anthem that's all we had they put off the lights even if even if there's no power on a good day in that axis, there's always light at the toll gate. There was no light. The lights were off. The street lights were off. It was pitch black. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, a boy jumped on me and was shouting, cover her, cover her. I didn't even understand why he did that. They shot that boy on my back. I fell and while, they, while the soldiers were trying to pick their shells, we were running around and picking their shells too because we wanted proof. These are some of the shells we picked. These are some of the shells we picked. This one I call my own because it's, it's landed right next to my ear. This one was uh, one we took out from someone's uh, lap. The military, they were there on Nigerian soil, killing Nigerian citizens. The police and their SARS-like people came doing the same thing, aiming and shooting, aiming, not 
they were pointing the gun at us and shooting live bullets. Who takes live bullets to protest? Who does that? So, uh, to my um, so our leaders, please, I urge you to to please not insult the intelligence of Nigerians and, and the families. Something I, 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 I think about now in hindsight, just I wish we we hadn't done it, but we carried dead bodies and dropped at the feet of the soldiers so that they could see what they did to us. When I asked the uh, unit commander or something, why are you killing us? I wish we didn't do that. I wish we kept the bodies because they ended up throwing the bodies in their van. This was up until the next day, the next morning. Anyway, I wanna, I wanna thank uh, a Mr. Ola, who uh, is the man manager of Vodic Hospital, Vodic, Vodic Trust. Thank you for. I'm sorry we put you in harm's way, but thank you for letting us into your facility and treating our brave Nigerians. Thank you to Life Point Church for giving us refuge. I also want to plead to the people opening fake accounts with my name, please. It's it's already hard as it is. People risk their lives to get me out of of my of, of my place, the place I call my home. Please stop saying things you don't know. I understand things are hard. I understand things are difficult. This this era of social media, you you wanna um, get uh, followership that can help you also make some money. I understand. At least copy the truth and put. That's all I'm asking. Please. I didn't. I never said seventy eight people died. I don't know that. What I do know is, as of when I was doing the live, seven people had died. When my phone died, we had now my when my battery died, we had counted about fifteen people. I don't know if it was more than that. We had a lot of people that had stray bullet wounds, gunshot wounds, and all that. 78 people, I don't know where you got that information from. I saw another one that said my cousin died. That's not true, please. I will uh, do my best to put my, uh, I'm, I'm not very active on a lot of my pages, but I'll do my best to put all my handles in, um, in the uh, caption so that you know which one is real. So if you open the page, you want to use my name, no, yeah, well, just just say the truth, please. You're putting you're putting more people in trouble, please, please. When you when you face when you when you look at it, when you face when you face the the possibility that you you are going to die, trust me, you you'll be afraid, please, please. It's easy to type. It's easy to type. I, I get it. But please just do your best to, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, please do your best to, to just at least get the factual story. People did die. It wasn't photoshopped. I must, I must be a tech genius to photoshop a live feed. So that's uh, all I want to say. So thank you all. Huh? We must continue to move. We must continue. If we stop... I fear it'll probably be the next 60 years before we talk about this again. We must continue, but we must continue peacefully. I condemn any sort of violence. I condemn the burning of buses and, and people's livelihood. See, let me say something to you. You may not know, but you might be burning your fellow brother or sister's workshop, but one of them that were in that protest as well. You may not know. I know. I know. We're angry, but the most powerful weapon we have is peace. Let us continue. I can't wait to come back, because I'm definitely going to continue and be back on the streets peacefully. We need accountability. That is at the heart of this this matter. Accountability. People have to be brought to book. If you don't bring people to book. If you don't bring justice to families, it will continue. We must speak. Do not give up.
don't give up. Thank you so much. Huh? I don't know if you guys like my my jalabia. DJ Obi gave me this beautiful jalabia. It's actually very soft. Like it's it's really good. <laughs> Thank you, Obi, for this. I love it. I love jalapia actually. So thank you for, for giving this to me. It, it was his dad's, and so uh, it means a lot. It meant a lot to him, and it means a lot to me. Yeah. Um, thank you. <laughs>